Day one of three of competition here in the Chiba Prefecture as X Games makes its return here to Japan for the third year in a row, X Games Chiba 2024. The last two years we are out in the baseball stadium. This year we are inside in the Makuhari Messe Arena as we get set to bring you BMX Park Elimination. Welcome everyone, Jimmy Coleman here in the booth as always alongside Scotty Kramer and well Scotty we've got a field of 12 out here today and we are going to eliminate for the top eight moving on into that final our top storylines Marcus Christopher 2023 had a bad crash at X Games back in Ventura in July he walks out of there with a gold medal. Yeah, he rode absolutely amazing. I remember everybody just looking at him when he was done with his run and they were just, just couldn't believe what they just saw. He was just so perfect in everything he did and I'm hoping he could bring that momentum here today. We also have to talk about Kevin Peraza. He walked out of X Games Ventura with three medals, two of those being gold. He's going for three gold this weekend because he's competing in all three BMX events. Yeah, and I'm getting used to him just showing up and winning at this point. He just seems to show up and ride the course better than everybody else and brings so many unique and individual tricks that only Kevin Peraza does. So this is going to be really exciting. We also have to talk about the return of Logan Martin. We didn't see him in Ventura. He was focused on the Olympics. He's kind of having a rough year. You never can count him out because of the depth of tricks that that guy has. He's also a four-time X Games BMX part medalist, uh, gold medalist. There's no doubt about it. He is, if not the greatest, one of the greatest BMX park riders of all time when it comes to competition. So I'm I'm expecting him to show up and come out with a vengeance and really bring his A-game. So the name of the game here today is all about making that eight cut. Again, it's 12 riders. They're going to get two runs each. The runs are 45 seconds in length. However, if you do have a crash, that'll end your run. Judges are working off of a 100-point scale in the job here today. You just have to make the top eight, which is an interesting story because last year we were outside. The uh, elimination results actually ended up being the final because we didn't get to do the final due to rain. So... Different yeah. story here in 2024. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have to worry about that today. We started off with a guy who has two back-to-back -back gold medals in BMX dirt. He makes his first appearance ever at the X Games in BMX Park. It's Brady Baker. Oh, so excited to see Brady finally competing in the X Games Park. I mean, we know what he's done on dirt. We've seen him at the best trick competitions in park. We know he has the tricks, but now he gets the opportunity to be able to put it all together. As you can see, that 540 flare right there. Well, you can see there's a lot of big elements here, including that massive volcano that we're calling Mount Fuji. That volcano feature, that thing's almost as tall as the vert ramp, just to give you an idea of the size of the elements on this course. Yeah, so the, all the big transitions here, they are pretty massive. A nice flare whip right there. But there's a lot of different kind of transition pieces all over this course. Some mellow, some steep, some you know, rounded, just like that volcano you were talking about. So a lot of different stuff to uh, keep your eyes on. This is a very impressive run right there for Brady. Like I said, two-time gold medalist at BMX Dirt. We've seen him in Park Best Trick, but his first time out here in an actual park competition, I mean, he put down a solid run to get it started. Yeah, I, you know what? I expected it in a way because I know how good Brady is as a park rider. I mean, that's where we used to ride together at my parents' skate park when I was competing at the X Games, and he was just a 10 or 11-year-old kid that was riding with me. So to see him actually compete here at the X Games in Park is so cool, and he's doing great so far. So again, the judge is working off of a 100 point scale out here out of your two runs. It's the better of the two that will hopefully get you into that top eight. So only removing a third of the field here tonight. Brady Baker, your two time defending dirt gold medalist gonna check in with a 74. As we move on to this gentleman right here from Lake Havasu City, Arizona, this is Jeremy Malott. He owns two X Games medals. He's got a bronze and park best trick at X Games 2021 and X Games 2022. Yeah, Jeremy has so many insane tricks and combination tricks. Nice clean double tail whip. So, I mean, we were talking about it. He has these medals that are in the best tricks. So the stuff that he puts together, very, very technical. He'll put the big tricks in with like fakie tricks as well, which is super cool. And uh, it, very similar to in a way how Kevin Peraza would do it as well. So it's awesome to see him out here and be able to uh, get a shot and put down uh, some awesome tricks in this course. Puts a 720 down, with just about five seconds left to go. Earlier in the run, did you see the height that he had on that 540? That was very Jamie Bestwick-esque, how he just slowed down that rotation. It was it was perfect. Yeah, he does one of the cleanest 540s in BMX right now, especially when it comes to park. 
I had to throw that Bestwick reference out there. I saw him lurking around in the background on the deck there at the park course as we take another look at Jeremy's first outing. Look at that 360 whip, late bar spin, landing it absolutely perfect. And then here it is right here, the double tail whip air on this mellower transition. So when we say mellower transition for everybody out there that doesn't know what we're talking about, that means it's not as steep as the other ones. So it actually looks like a really good quarter pipe to do some tricks on. So Jeremy gonna check in with a 65.33. Two riders down here, 10 left to go in the rotation. If you're just joining us, this is round one out of two here. BMX Park Elimination. We've got the final coming up tomorrow night. That'll be midnight Pacific, 3 a.m. East Coast time as we turn our attention to Lodi, California's Bryce Tryon. He was a BMX Dirt Silver Medalist in 2021. X Games Chief in 2024 is his sixth appearance, and he's in for 45 seconds. Uh, he's such a good rider at being consistent when he's doing his runs. Like, he just knows how to map things out. He's very, very professional at that because he's been doing it for years now. You know, I remember when he was just coming on the scene, he was just like the rookie out there. Now he's just a seasoned veteran. He just really knows what he's doing. He's competed in park twice prior to this appearance tonight. His best finish was an eighth from earlier this summer in Ventura. I'll tell you what, he's bringing a really <laughs> smooth approach to this, to this course. Like, he's actually bringing some speed and showing some really cool lines, which I really like. That was wild, the pop that he had and just that crazy spin. Yeah, that was a really I was good not ride. expecting that. Let's go, baby. So much fun. <laughs> it was fun to watch, Bryce. Thanks. Yeah, look how high he's going. He's bringing so much speed. I loved how he was just carving around the whole course. <laughs> There's that one footed tabletop flare that you loved. <laughs> I just, I wasn't expecting that. I just, it just kind of caught me off guard. I was like, wow. Yeah, yeah the, the best part about like his style of riding is his tricks are so original because he's goofy footed. And there's not many guys that are going to be competing today that are goofy footed. So. That trick right there in general, that one-footed tabletop, is one of my favorite tricks that Bryce does. So he's going to check into the 70s. He'll get a 71.66. So Brady Baker going to hold on to that top spot for now. That'll slide Bryce into that number two position. As we move on from Lodi, California, to the sunshine coast of Australia. Australia, this is Josh Dove. Yeah, just as I was speaking about the Goofy Footer Riders, Josh is another Goofy Footer Rider. That means he spins to uh, the same direction as his front foot. So he's airing left and he's left foot forward. Oh, look at that. Backflip, like underflip over the box backwards. Josh is known throughout BMX for just going huge. He's able to ride pretty much any skate park that he goes to better than anyone he could ever possibly imagine. So. Wow. Just again, I mean, look at the speed that he's maintaining. He's got good flow, good height. A couple of seconds left here. What's he going to cap it off with? Nice big no for the can can. I love how he kicks his hips out and really drops the bike away from him. But, and that just goes to show uh, the one thing that, you know, you were saying, all the qualities of his riding, his style is huge. And uh, being a goofy footed rider, he's able to capitalize that and really be different than everyone else. Well, we were talking about this before we came on air, just with the uniqueness of this course. If, if, if you get off your flow just a little bit, it can put you in a position where you're just kind of lost. Yeah, absolutely. Because the, the shape of this course, right? It's yeah. three sides on there. So if you get directed toward that vacant side, man, you're going to be in trouble. But so far, the guys have been doing fantastic. You see your top three for now, a 74, a 71, 66, and a 65.33. Josh gonna check in with a 68.33, good enough for that number three position. Again, the job here, the task at hand, if you will, tonight, you just wanna make the eight cut, moving into the final for tomorrow. This is Brandon Lupos, also from Australia. He hails from Sydney. Chiba will be his seventh X Games appearance. Got a dirt silver medal in Ventura earlier this year and had to settle for fourth in Park. Yeah, he really wanted that Park medal so bad because he actually has been struggling over the past few years with a lot of injuries. But man, it's so great to see him back on his bike because BMX is better in the competition realm when he is on the course. He has so many different tricks and he's such a powerful, uh, just a consistent rider, so really cool to see him riding today, and I'm hoping he can put down some solid runs. 
Coming down to the final seven seconds, he's a three-time dirt medalist, but he doesn't own any park medals. That fourth place finish in Ventura back in July, that was his best park finish at the X Games. Yeah, so one thing, I was actually talking to Brandon before this competition, just trying to get some insight on how, how's the course feeling. He said that a lot of these transitions the guys are dealing with are a little steep compared to what they would prefer to ride. So all the bigger quarter pipes, the ones that are in front of the box jump, like the one that uh, he just rode down, he said it's pretty steep. So that for uh, you know doing your tricks and landing back in and landing smooth is quite difficult. But you can see right here on that flare whip, he landed really smooth, rode away with some good momentum. So we'll see where this slides him into the grand scheme of things here. Round one out of two, best run count. So high 60s, 66.66. So that's all, that's not even gonna put you in the top three right now. So he's gonna slide into that number four position. Japan native Rim Nakamura due up next. He's a park silver medalist. He earned that in 2019 back in Minneapolis at the U.S. Bank Stadium. That was his rookie X Games appearance. Uh, he rode that course amazing then. And he's he's been known throughout BMX since he came on the scene. It's like, who is this guy from Japan going so high and doing so many bar spins? Like, and he's just progressed so much over these years. Oh, he, oh. it looks so good, just like that. Just wow. a three-in-one combo there, and it was so fast, so fluid. Oh, and that's just how he does it, but he makes it look so smooth. Oh, look at that. Just as I was saying before, <laughs> three bar spins, one air. Just like having that fast reaction with your hands is so, is so hard to do, especially in a run. Between the X Games and the Olympics, by the way, he competed in the last two Olympics that they had BMX, and he settled for fifth at both of those. But between those two, he's been featured in commercials and ads in Japan, and he's a, he's a bit of celebrity. He says when he walks down the street, people recognize me and say hello. <laughs> well, that's so cool and well-deserved, because, man, what he can do on a bike is so special. There's a double tail whip out of that steep quarter pipe with the pool coping. That means the top of the ramp is something similar to you'd see in a regular pool. So a lot of BMX riders, uh, you know, you're used to seeing that on deep bowls, but when you're doing tricks out and stuff like that, very hard. But that's that mellow transition I was telling you about earlier that's, that he chose to do his triple bar spin on. So the highest score we've seen thus far, the first time we've cracked into the 80s, it's an 83 flat. For Rim, that'll put him in the top spot here at the halfway point of round number one. So it's Rim in the top spot. Brady Baker, who we saw first, sitting in second. Bryce Tryon third. Josh Dove, Brandon Lupus, and Jeremy Malott. We're halfway through. Six more riders to go here in round one. We'll have more when we return to X Games Chiba. Welcome back, everyone, inside the Makuhara Messe Arena here. It's X Games Chiba 2024. We are at the halfway point of round one out of two here at Men's BMX Park Elimination. 12 riders in the field, cutting it down to eight to move into the final tomorrow night. Right before we went to break, we saw Rim Nakamura move into that top spot. But now we move on to Logan Martin, five-time X Games BMX gold medalist, 13 medals total. Scotty, we talked about him at the top the show has it been the best year for him now when we say that it's just competition wise it's been super tough it was a hard road to go to the olympics he wasn't in ventura earlier this year because he was focused on the olympics but never ever ever count this guy out oh uh, you you can't the guy has elevated bmx park competitions so far over these years and i'm expecting him to just carry that momentum i know he was dealing with injuries before the olympics so uh, it's just good to see him on the course and good to see him back on X Games in general. Nice double whip air. And he's really good at navigating through uh, different transitions like this, especially like bow corner riding. I feel like every time there's a course that has good big quarter pipes like this, he seems to excel. So right away when I saw his course, I was like pretty excited to see how Logan was going to ride it. So he puts down a solid performance there. Of those five X Games gold medals, four of them came in park. He does own a dirt gold medal as well. Very well-rounded rider as we take another look at his first run. Yeah, there's that double tail of air on that bigger quarter pipe with that pool coping. And you can see he just immediately swerved right over. Now here's a flare tail whip. This is one of the smaller quarter pipes too. I feel like that's gonna be the one that a lot of the bigger tricks are gonna be done on. 
So at 83 flat, the high mark, that was Rim Nakamura, who we saw just before we went to commercial break. Brady Baker, that number two spot with a 74. So Logan's going to check with a 76. So he will overtake Brady Baker, put him in that number two spot. But right now, Rim Nakamura, the only one into the 80s as of now, but still five riders left to go. Then we get into round two, and it is the best run that counts. Taking a look at Justin Dowell here, a two-time silver medalist. Got the first one right here in Chiba back in 2022, his rookie X Games appearance and X Games 2022 in California. Wow, starting things off with that truck to down whip over the box backwards. That's a, it's not the biggest box, especially with that mellow landing. That was really impressive. Another 540 guy, and he does them on the bigger core pipes. He's not scared at all. Keeping that trick alive because it's kind of gone extinct in BMX over the years, but. As you can see in Justin's run, he does a, a huge volume of tricks. He's really good at designing runs through courses and getting as many hits as possible. Coming down to the last couple of seconds here. Ooh, <laughs> 10 with 540. To, at the end of the run there. Yeah, that was a big trick right there. That was nice. I was about to say, it looked like he got a little bit lost at the end, but uh, I guess not after you fire <laughs> off a five whip. Yeah, no, he had plans. So here's the flare bar spin. Another goofy footed rider. I'm going to bring it up a couple times when I see it, just to show you for everyone out there. And it's actually interesting to see how many there are, but a perfect example of how intricate the tricks could be for goofy footed riders to be able to be different than the other riders. So. That 540 tail up is, that's a serious trick, especially to do it at that height out of that core pipe. Yeah, in his five park appearances, he's never finished worth, worse than fourth place. I mean, that's pretty consistent. Yeah. I mean, considering especially that, I mean, here in Chiba in 2022 was his rookie appearance. So the score taking a little bit of time to come in at the moment. So the judges talking this one over right now. I mean, what do you think? If you get you to walk the plank here, and, yeah, I feel pretty good about that run. Seen. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think he's going to definitely crack up pretty high. I, I think it'll definitely be close to, like, uh, I'd say at least top five. I feel good with that um, because he did so much, um, like navigating through the course and getting so many tricks. So, so a seventy-two six-six. So. There you go, that'll slide him into that number four position. Again, you only see the top three names on the leaderboard for now. The job here out of the 12, you just want to be one of the top eight going into that final. This is Tucson, Arizona's Kevin Peraza. Seven gold medals to his name. He's the <laughs> only athlete in X Games history of BMX to win dirt, street, and park gold medals. Uh, it's so crazy to think about. And just watching this guy over the years just evolve into <laughs> the rider that he is. Oh, it's been amazing. Oh, I like that line. He just carved that flare and like purposely went over the edge of that hip. I was going to say, was that intentional to get over that? Uh, the, yeah, if it's Kevin Peraza, absolutely. And uh, I, w I was super excited to see how Kevin was going to ride this one because I knew it was going to be different than everybody else just because, and like you said, it, all of the goals that he's gotten in dirt, street, and park, he is such a di diverse rider with tricks. And, wow. Yeah, that was really cool. It's, to you just... That unique Kevin Peraza style and just the way that he looks differently at a course. Yeah, and what's crazy too is you'll see every run that he does, he'll just have a different, probably a start and finish and a different approach to it as well. So here's that Superman and crossing his legs in the back there, kicking. I love this over tooth back over. That's I know it sounds crazy, but that's literally one of the hardest and scary tricks like, that you can learn. I, uh, it was like the my biggest fear was doing that trick over the years, and so it's cool to see him do that in the run. But straight into an alley oop uh, flare whip as well was really really cool. Yeah, to see. the alley oop was unique. The, the flare, how he just kind of flattened that thing out and carved some distance on that one. So where does this slide, Kevin Peraza? It's gonna give him a 69. So. That'll put you in that number six spot, kind of close to the bubble. Get two runs, best run that counts. As we turn our attention to Argentina's Jose Torres. You want to talk about the heck of a two years this guy's had. He won the X Games in Ventura last year, and just in July, coming off of an Olympic gold medal performance. 
unbelievable riding that he did over in Olympics. I, I remember seeing his qualifying run and just thinking in my head, I'm like, man, this run is serious. And if he brings this tomorrow and adds something to it, and that's exactly what he did. And he's the, the he's the gold medalist now. So he's got four more years of being the Olympic gold medalist. But he's got X Games right now. And I know he views this as one of the biggest opportunities for him to be able to go out there and be able to put a stamp on BMX. So yeah, amazing rider. And he's got such a huge style and the tricks that he brings, crazy. And to further tell his story, I mean, in Ventura, he got to ride last in park because he was the defending gold medalist. He wasn't even in the running at that point. And by that last run and that very last run, he jumped up into the medals and ended up walking out of there with a bronze. So he's got a gold, a bronze, and then an ex uh, an Olympic gold yeah, medal. Yeah, he's proven himself as being a, a legit threat anytime he is in a competition because he has that X factor in him that he steps up in that big moment and he rides his best. And man, he makes it look so good and just so proud to have him as, you know, the gold medalist this year for BMX. He just does such a great job representing our sport. So there you go. We see, uh, we see the bubble, see that yellow line. You don't want to be on the bottom side of that thing. So Brandon Lupos is our bubble score. Actually, now he's not. He's on the outside looking in because Jose is going to get a 70. That'll put him in six. So Mr. Dove is now your transfer spot as of now. Remember, this is round one. So once we get through the run order, we have two riders left to go. We go back up to the top and do it all over again. Daniel Sandoval walked out of Chiba last year with a gold medal in this event. That was his second part gold medal. He's in for 45 seconds. Yeah, Daniel Sandoval has been such a threat to any BMX Park competition that his name is on the list for so long now. For him riding last year the way he did, doing that double flare in his run was insane. Wow. Look at that. Wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, the pump that that transition just experienced was something else. But he is riding this course so well, and he's going so high, bringing so many different tricks, too. <laughs> that was... That was ridiculous. Yeah. Nice flare up on that. Oh, oh no, his feet bought. Uncharacteristic out of him on that trick to slip the pedals there. It's all right. You get two runs, yeah. but again, the height early on. Oh, it was insane. Uh, it's crazy to see him just charging at a quarter pipe like that and then folding that bike was just, oh, it was beautiful. It really was. But look at this double tail up he's doing, like the transfer from that bigger quarter pipe over that little hip there. And then here is, the, yeah, there it is. Thing that invert. Good. <laughs> wow. Into the rafters on that one. Yeah, and nice. 360 double downside tail whip over the box jump. And here's the flare whip on that quarter pipe. He landed, but yeah, he yeah. just landed. His feet weren't in the best position. And as he was pumping down, his, his pedals just couldn't absorb that. It just slipped right off. Yeah, uncharacteristic to see him slip the pedals on that trick. He's usually money on that one. It's still good wow. enough with this 73.33. So <laughs> even with that bobble at the end of the run, that still puts him in that fourth place position. So now Kevin Peraza is your bubble guy sitting in that number eight spot. Last guy to go in the run order here in round number one, your gold medalist from Ventura back in July, it's Marcus Christopher. And we told his story at the top of the show. He had a horrific crash in 2023, multiple fractures in his face, and then comes back. We thought he was going to hold up a little bit in Ventura with the Olympics coming, and apparently he didn't get the memo because he went absolutely nuts in Ventura. Yeah, you know, he wanted that redemption. He wanted to come back and, and you know, Get that out of here. He didn't want to think about that ever again. You know what? Now he's got that gold medal. God, I, I'm just so happy for him. He's such an amazing rider. And so far, he's riding really, really well. He's got so many tricks and uh, so much power, too, in his riding. Nice 360 look back. Bring it up again. This is another goofy-footed rider. But every one of these riders, they have a different approach with the way that they ride as a goofy-footed rider. He does so many big tricks, especially with his tail ups, because his tail ups are actually regular-footed uh, when he kicks them. But whenever he does his 360s, like his tail ups will be up, downside naturally when majority of riders would kick at the opposite being downside. But here's a 360 backflip over the box jump. And then, like I was saying earlier, 
See, his tail whips are regular footed, so he, that's a downside tail, but it was actually a regular air and a regular tail. When for most riders, that would be a either an opposite air or an opposite tail, whether they were doing an air or the tail that way. So he's going to check in with a 75. Wow. That'll put him in third. So that bumps Kevin Peraza out of the top eight. And Jose Torres now sits in that bubble spot. But at the end of round one, it's that gentleman right there, Rim Nakamura, sitting in the top spot right now with an 83 flat. We've completed one round of runs. Who's making the eight cut? We'll find out when we come back for round two here. BMX Park Elimination, X Games Chiba. Welcome back, everyone, to the first day of three of competition here, X Games Chiba 2024. We are at the halfway point here at Men's BMX Park Elimination. We have completed one round of runs thus far. It is the best run that counts. It's that gentleman right there, Rim Nakamura, sitting in the top spot here with an 83 flat. Top eight, moving on to the finals. Jose Torres, your Olympic BMX Park gold medalist in 2023 X Games Park gold medalist, sitting on the bubble right now. But you see Kevin Peraza on the outside looking in as well. Coming off of three medals and X Games Venture earlier this year. So looking to put some work here into round two. However, it is far from over because everyone's going to get one more shot at it here. Runs are 45 seconds in length. Judges are working off of a 100 point scale. We started off once again with Brady Baker currently sitting in that fourth place position. So looking like a safe bet. We'll see Brady in wow. that top eight. Yeah, I think he's going to turn it up because uh, once you have that score right there, you're going to be going into this one like, all right, let's see if we can maybe try to take a little bit of risk and see if we can work our way up a little bit because starting position is important. You know, they go backwards through the, the list, you know, for the yeah. finals. So you want to have your last chance on the course, you know, have all your competition go before you to see what you have to do. So... Yeah, if I know Brady, he's just going to turn it up, you know, just enough. He's going to play it smart, play it cool, but he looks really good in this course. He looks really solid, and he, he looks like he's ridden other Park X games before, even though this is his first one. I was just going to say, for this to be his first actual appearance in an X Games Park competition, he looks like one of the veterans out there. Yeah, this one right off the hit. He did the 360 double tail up, but that's over the box jump backwards, so that's super difficult and technical. And here you go, a dirt med gold medalist doing a 540 flare on a quarter pipe, which is so cool to see. And yeah, he looks dialed. And you know what? It should be no surprise. I mean, he rides with Daniel Sandoval every single day over there in Lake Havasu. And those guys, they have the craziest sessions. I was able to go there and film one on my YouTube channel. And I couldn't believe what I was seeing. So he's going to stick with that first run score. Pretty, pretty consistent, though. He had a 74 the first time around and a 73 the second go around. Again, two gold medals in dirt to his name. He's looking to add some park hardware this weekend. And so far, he's made the case to get into the top eight. So he's over there eyeing it up on the monitor. They got a monitor over there. They can go back and watch the replays and uh, check out the scores. So that's what he's staring at over there. He wasn't mean mugging anybody in the crowd. Jeremy Malott, Lake Havasu City. Two X Games medals, as I mentioned before. Jeremy sit in that 12th place position, so looking to get rid of that 65.33. You need better than a 70 right now to jump into the top eight. Ooh, that was nice. 360 whip to Barsman over the box backwards. You know, I would love to see Jeremy Malat. Nice triple tail up. I'd love seeing that too, but it'd be really cool to see him do one of his technical crazy tricks, or at least try one to see if that will give him the opportunity to get his score up. Big 540 bar spin on that quarter pipe. Just kind of slowed down the spin on that when he yeah. spun the bars and then caught it and kind of wound it back up. That was impressive. Yeah, you're right. He's got such great control. Let's tuck no hander on the bigger quarter. Flare whip, Woo. barely hung on to that one. You can see it and hear his tires starting to slide out. But a full pull right there. I'm very happy for him. He's such an awesome rider. It's great to see him out here. So we'll see what the judges think of his second outing here as we take another look. Yeah, there's that big triple tail up on that quarter. There's that 540 bar spin. You see, that's that part where he slows down. He's starting to find where the transition is to be able to push down and land as fast and smooth as possible. 
So again, well, it's going to be a 64.66, so that is not going to be enough. As I mentioned before, you need better than a 70 flat. That's Jose Torres sitting in that spot as of right now. So fortunately for Jeremy, only four get eliminated here today. So he will be one of those four as we bring back in Bryce Tryon. Sitting in that number seven spot. He'd love to give himself some breathing room right here. Nice 360 flip over the box for Bryce. Ooh, that was cool. Tuck to bar spin on that big quarter pipe. Man, he he rides big transitions really, really well. Oh, oh, so with, wow, that was crazy. You know what's scary about that too? That ramp that he just snuck in on the one he's riding right now, there's no deck on that. So if you case, you'd be in some trouble. So. <laughs> it is lights out if that happens. <laughs> yeah. Wow, so that was definitely got his heart rate going a little bit on that one. But yeah, he held on though, because like we said earlier, he was the rookie once, but he's a veteran now. He really knows what he's doing on Spike. He competed in Park twice. His best finish was eighth from Ventura this year, back in July. There's that 540 flare. Looking, spinning. Such a difficult trick to do. <laughs> yeah. You can hear him talking about how he lost his speed in that run. Yeah. Hey, it was fun to watch. Don't shrug your shoulders. That was awesome. Uh, he's such a good sport. He's uh, such. He's so positive to everybody that he's on the deck with. I love it. Also, you have to give a shout out to his family. They come out to a lot of the events. Yeah. They were rolling deep in Ventura. Remember, they had all the, the Bryce Tryon shirts. Yeah. They spelled out his name. I was almost <laughs> expecting the crew to be right there in the stands. Uh, you know, getting to Ventura is one thing. I don't know if they're going to get the whole family <laughs> to fly all the way to, to Tokyo. Yeah, long trip from uh, NorCal. Hey, if they were able to pull that one off, that would be extremely <laughs> impressive. If we bring back in Josh Dove here, currently on the outside looking in, sitting in that number 10 spot. Wow, look at that speed he just generated. Oh, huge air. He was into the lights. He almost got, he almost blew out of the camera shot on yeah, that one. I remember the first time I seen him ride in person, and he was such a young kid. But wow, the way he rode, it was like he was riding a whole lifetime. Like he just had so much natural control. And uh, what he's able to do on a bike is such a gift. It's like something that you can't work on to to learn. It's like he's just he was born with the ability on his bike, like to, to, to be able to ride skate parks, any skate parks the way that he does. So. He was a racer for a good five years, and there was always a skate park next to the track that he raced at. He missed a couple of races because he was over at the skate park and around age nine said, you know what, I'm done with that. I'm sticking with freestyle. Yeah, and check him out. Look at that big, like, under flip. I love the way he loops out the bike and throws the back end up on that. But and look, look at that. that. That's un unbelievable. It's just I crazy <laughs> that his shoe was just keeping that bike on his, on there. So shout out to that. Everyone in that bleacher right there was completely unfazed yeah. by that. Uh, like, I, don't, I don't know if they were watching what you and I were watching, but my great. goodness. Shout out to that Vance for holding on to that pedal like it did. <laughs> it was just crazy. That was some sort of two-wheeled sorcery going on right there. He had a 68-3-3 the first time around. 69-3-3, it's not oh. going to be enough. It's going to be knocking on the door, but he's going to have to settle for ninth. Oh, that is a tough break right there. But again, what an impressive run in only his second X Games appearance. Brandon Lupos sitting in that 11th place spot right now. He had a 66.66. And he has the tricks to be able to do this. He's just wow. got to put it together right now. He had a couple things, a little slip ups that made him lose some speed, but he could do this. He's got so many crazy tricks. He's just got to find them right now. Nice flip double whip over the box. Kind of lost a little speed on that one. Can still regroup here. You got 15 seconds. Can put a couple more things together. Oh, oh flip double whip. <laughs> that was huge. See, if you do stuff like that, that's your best bet to make it in. Nice 540 flare at the buzzer. Back tire lit. It looks perfectly under the coping on that. Wow. Yeah, wow is right. This He's a three-time dirt tough. medalist. No park medals to his name here at the X Games. Currently living with Daniel Sandoval and Brady Baker, by the way, in Lake Havasu, Arizona. Yeah, look at this. Nice double tail whip. 
Landing there, getting speed to set up for the box jump, which he did a 720 on over it backwards. But check this out. Two rotations. That's huge. That's a gnarly trick. And then he got that 540 flare, and just like you were Watch saying, look how wheel. close. Yeah, like there's no. It's how you want to. You got to find that transition and pump to get as much speed as possible in the course like this. Oh, oh. he's done it a 73. That'll put him in wow. sixth place. That's a tough break for Jose Torres, who does have another run coming up. By the way, he'll get a chance to answer back. But here we go. It's turning into a chess match. Bryce Tryon now sitting in that transfer spot. As we bring back in our current leader, he posted up an 83 flat the first time around. It's Japan's oh, Rim Nakamura. Wow, and he's already oh. up to Jimmy. Jimmy, he just did bar spin to bar spin back to bar spin on that core pipe before that 720 bar. Oh, this course is like, it, it is just a rim. Oh, the hair was insane. Oh, I'm, I'm so excited to see what happens in the finals. <laughs> Just knowing that these guys are going to get another day of practice to get used to this course and be able to turn it up. But Rims, I mean, just look at his score. He's a full seven points above yeah. everyone else. That's insane. You know, and here last year, he had to settle for seventh in park. And you know he wants to perform well here. I mean, being in his home country, to come out and be yeah. the top scorer after round one, I mean, it's the pressure's off of you at that oh, point. There's no doubt about it. Uh, he feels so good in this course. You could just tell by the way he's riding. And he, he's just naturally adapting to it so well. I'm, I'm so excited to see what he does in the finals. First Japanese rider to compete in park and the first Japanese athlete, athlete to medal in an X Games BMX discipline. Your current leader just flowing and having a good time out here on course. So we're halfway through round two. Who's making the top eight? We'll find out when we return to X Games Chiba 2024. Day one of three of competition continues here. X Games Chiba 2024 inside the Makuhara Messe Arena. We are in the middle point of round number two here, men's BMX park elimination. Rim Nakamura sitting in that top spot with an 83 flat that he earned in round number one. Top eight moving on into the final. Bryce Tryon sitting on that bubble spot as of right now. Six riders down, six riders left to go. We got Logan Martin do up next. Kevin Peraza competing in three different BMX events out here this weekend. Sitting on the outside looking in. Jose Torres sitting on the outside looking in as well right now. So it's a tough field. I mean, you got 12 very talented, very capable riders and only eight of them get to move on into that final. Logan Martin sitting in that number two spot right now. He is in a comfortable position. Yeah, so good to see Logan back on an X Games course. And so far, so good. Look at that. Nice tail up to table at height. It's crazy seeing how high these guys are doing these tricks out of that one big quarter pipe over there. Nice switch. Tuck no handed air. Look at him cranking. Wow. That was a huge double whip out of that pool coping one. Straight to a flare. Downside switch tail whip. Another just, switch tail whip, too. Just doing Logan Martin things right now, just putting on a clinic. Oh, and he gets blown off the bike on that one. Again, with that first run score that he had of a 76 flat, what we've seen so far, he's in second position for now. So we're gonna see him in the final. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was That, that was run huge. was shaping up to be huge. Yeah, but look at this tail whip and then straighten that tabletop, laying that bike nice and flat right there. And now here was this huge double whip. I, it was crazy. That's That was the highest trick air we've seen out of that. And a double tail up is scary out of a big quarter pipe that's steep with pool coping like that. But Logan, he ain't scared at all. So obviously with the fall, he's going to stick with that first run score again. We missed him in Ventura. He was focused on the Olympics. So we're glad to have you back at the X Games, Logan. So he is focused on the finals for tomorrow night which again, that'll be midnight Pacific time in the US. It'll be 3 a.m. East Coast time. So Bryce Tryon still sitting in that bubble spot. Bryce has already had his second run, so he's gonna have to nervously watch the rest of this unfold here. 
We bring back in Justin Dowell. Wow. Sitting at seventh, he's in for right now. But again, you would like a little bit more breathing room. Yeah, triple truck over the box backwards, truck the down whip. He fits so many tricks into like unexpected areas, which is just what he's done his whole career and how he's made it as far as he has. But his consistency is something that it's just, it almost needs to be studied. Because yeah. It's really impressive. I said it in his first run. I mean, he's never finished worse than fourth place in his five park appearances. Uh, and he just did a backflip, tuck no hander over the box backwards. So a course like this, wow, huge tail whip 540 at the end. But what I was going to say about this course is there's not a really any opportunities to do any straight tricks besides that box jump area, right? You have to do your straight tricks over this. It's not the biggest box jump either. So the, the fact that these guys are fitting triple trucks and over the box backwards and being able to do like backflip no handers over backwards is super cool. And that, that, 540, that 540 whip is just amazing. So uh, I, I love that being at the end of his run. It's actually fourth or better in four or five park appearances. I forgot he did get seventh in Ventura. But uh, other than that, he's got two fourth place finishes and then two silver medals. So I mean, again, I mean, that is super consistent. So again, when you've got Kevin Peraza and you've got Jose Torres on the outside looking in and you're sitting in seventh, you definitely want that breathing room. So a 73.66 and he's done it. He jumps up two spots so that'll get him out of seventh, move him up into fifth. So now Brandon Lupo sitting in that number seven spot. Bryce still holding on to that bubble spot. There we go. Kevin Peraza sits in 11th. One of four riders left to go here in this BMX Park elimination. Oh, I love that. Three down whip to late can-can. So smooth. I, I love that trick. Just, just makes it look so good. Yeah, it's like a classic trick, you know, and bringing on a big concrete quarter pipe like that, you know, you'd, you'd expect to see it over a dirt jump or something, but amazing. Flare over the box backwards. <laughs> yeah, that's only the trick that he won best trick on, like, in the past, which is nuts. Nice over tooth back over. Yeah, that's two for two on the over tooth. Then almost running out of room there on the yeah. down whip. And I said it earlier, like you're gonna see different tricks and different riding from Kevin, and that's what you just saw right there. I, I, there's times where I don't even think that he, he thinks about what he's gonna do when he drops in. Maybe his first trick, but I think he just turns <laughs> it off. But look at this, I love that, the way he catches it with the can-can sticking out. And here's that flare over the box backwards. Just. Perfect. Nope. Gets the last bit of transition. Oh, it's unbelievable. And then here's the trick I talked about in the first one. I know it doesn't look crazy, but that trick is so difficult, so technical. A little bit of tech savvy courtesy of Kevin Peraza. So you need better than a 71.66. If you're jumping into that top eight, you can see there on the graphic, he was an 11th pre-run. There's Price. He's like, <laughs> oh. come on, I'm sitting in eighth. He's like, let me see. Oh, a 72 3 3, and he just barely does it all. That's a tough break wow. for Bryce Tryon, but Kevin Peraza hoping to walk away with uh, the trifecta of medals possibly this weekend, competing in three events. For now, he's yeah. done the work to get him into the event so far. But. However, <laughs> here's another big heavy hitter who's on the outside looking in. He's got a gold from Ventura 2023. He's your Olympic BMX Park gold medalist. This is Argentina's Jose Torres. Oh, wow, what a start. He can do it, Jimmy. Like he, like I said, this guy is a serious threat. Anytime his name is on the start list at a BMX Park competition. And so far, he's riding so clean with so many big tricks. Building some speed with the opposite carve. Ooh, nice. Bar to no-hander. Down whip, see, and he's got he's he's got the ability to find out awesome lines too, like and bring speed and bring these big tricks. So it's just got to be able to finish this one out. Hang on for a couple more seconds. Put in one more big trick here. Ends with up bars. with the Barsman <laughs> backflip. This is close. I was gonna it's add. Gonna be, what do you think? That's enough. Like there is there is some huge moments in that run that I absolutely love. Like when he started, I'm like, man, I don't think there's a chance that he couldn't make this uh, competition. But uh, at the end of it, 
it's like I wish he would have rerouted and did one last big trick instead of like did that switch carve over to that box backwards. I was like, ugh, he's got to do something huge. And he did the flip bar. It wasn't like something that was like absolutely insane. So I, I don't know. I'm just glad I'm not a judge right now. Yeah, not trying to downplay what the guy did, but uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things and from what we've seen thus far. So Peraza had a 72-3-3 to bump Bryce Tryon down in that ninth spot, so you need better than that now. And he's gonna, it's not 72, it's oh, not gonna be enough. Wow. wow. Kevin Peraz, I mean, you <laughs> talked about it, you called it out there with the finish. I mean, yeah. it's I mean, I mean, not the split hairs here, but I mean, the judges are looking for the minutia here. I mean, they, yeah. they are critical of these types of things. And I mean, you just saw it right there. I mean, it's knocking on the door, but it's not enough. So Kevin Peraza, hangs on wow and that means kevin's gonna make it because with sandoval and marcus christopher the last two to ride they are both in daniel sandoval sitting in six for now and remember this sandoval had that slip up at the end of his run and, and his feet came off still got a 73 yes. 33 which at the time was good enough for fourth place when yeah. that happened <laughs> So the, he's a real threat in this competition if everything goes his way. And I know he's got more tricks in the bag, too. So this can get really interesting. So that's the one where his feet got a little weird. So yeah, his feet were his toes were just kind of on the crank arm, which we've seen time and time again. He yeah, just kind of got a little wonky and he slipped off. But again, he's in that sixth place spot. Winner of this event last year, we talked about it earlier, the, the, the elimination, but then it was outside last year. Oh, I love and, that uh, with huge the rain. double whip, though. Look at that. Like, he's such a great rider at riding crazy, scary hips like that. Like, I would be terrified, like, <laughs> to go with that speed and do a double whip. But, like, him, oh, it's like, he's like, yep, yeah, no problem. Yeah, as I was saying, last year with the rain, we had to take the elimination results as the final because we had to compress the schedule. So we didn't get to see the battle that we were, him and him and Logan Martin, I believe, was the second place qualifier last year. So we were ready for the showdown between yeah. those two. And with taking the results, Sandoval walked out of here with a gold medal, his second part gold medal in his X Games career. And now we round it out with Marcus Christopher who had a 75 flat in round one that was good enough for third place. Yeah, Marcus Christopher, he's, I mean, since he's come on the scene in the competition, when he got invited to X Games, like we knew he was gonna be a real threat. And like just seeing how his riding has evolved and the type of tricks that he's been able to pull off and the, and the direction that he's gone with his riding. He started things off as a BMX r racer and you could see where he met you when he was only yeah. nine years old. You were yeah. early influence on him. Yeah, he was, he went to my my parents' uh, house. I remember, which was <laughs> it's just crazy to think that he was he's here at the X Games now. But but such an amazing rider and doing it his own way with his own signature touch. Really cool to see. It was you that put the <laughs> put the squash on his racing career. He's like, you know what, I'm done. Yeah, I mean that's what happened to my racing career. <laughs> I feel like it just happens to certain people. You get to that point, you're like, I want to do tricks. <laughs> I don't have time for this. Look at that beautiful downside double tail. Up. You can look at that 360 Just look back. Licking into that yeah. perfectly. And you know, taking advantage of being a goofy footed rider right there. So again, he was already in. Question is, will he improve? But Rim Nakamura. He does, he improves the <laughs> score, but not not the placing, so he'll qualify third. But how about Rim Nakamura in your home country? Oh, yeah. You come out in the first round, you post up an 83, you're in the top spot, and then that ends up being the high mark. And by virtue of that, you now get to ride last. I mean, today it's just industry friends and uh, friends and family of the riders and whatnot. Tomorrow when they open the doors, there's gonna be a packed house. So what an experience that's gonna be for him. Yeah, all I gotta say is you all need to tune in for this next competition. It is going to be crazy because this was just the eliminations. And what we saw today was, it was unbelievable. And what, they're going to turn it up. And like I said, these guys are gonna get a little bit more practicing, get used to everything. And I'm expecting some serious fireworks yeah there's your top qualifier you got kevin peraza making it into the final in his quest to possibly earn three medals this weekend competing in all of the bmx events and uh you know it's logan martin's back in the mix it's a tough break there for jose torres yeah. but uh, kevin peraza squeaks in at zero hour and hangs on to make it into that eight-man final 
Yeah, it's crazy to think that the Olympic gold medalists just missed right there. And wow, what a day though. So that is a wrap for us here at Men's BMX Park Elimination. Again, you can tune into that one at 3 a.m. Eastern time tomorrow, midnight Pacific. So your final thoughts, Scotty? I think that we are going to see an insane competition, and I'm so excited to call it with you. Well, we will catch you tomorrow. However, day one is far from over. We've still got Women's Skate Park Elimination. Stick around.